Hello, hello everybody. My name is Maxwell and this is my school project about water rising. So the first thing we might as well go over is what in the heck is water rising? Water rising is when water in the ocean rises. Duh. Now the proper reason why water in the ocean is rising is because of global warming. And I'm pretty sure you've heard of global warming before if you're in this society. According to this, global climate change is any significant change in Earth's climate from an extended time period that happens naturally or is caused by humankind. Such as the gasoline combustion engine. Incandescent light bulbs. And air conditioning. This, in return, gives us global warming. So the big question is, how does global warming contribute to water rising? Now, this is where we bring in glaciers. Well, a glacier is a big pile of freshwater snow that accumulates by both of the poles. So as the sun's energy goes to the glaciers and melts them, and we're pumping all sorts of heat energy into the air and harmful, and harmful gases, which are destroying our ozone layer. I don't think our glaciers are going to be around much longer. Well, just so recently, a large glacier split off of a bigger glacier that's about the size of Vermont. This is probably going to melt, and this is obviously a cause of global warming and our sun. We believe within 80 years the sea level will rise 3 feet. We understand this because of the retreat of, of glaciers, the lack of permafrost, and that the glaciers are obviously getting smaller. So we just discovered that this is a big problem. Now let's figure out how to fix this issue of global warming. And there's plenty of things that you, yes, you yourself can do to fix this problem. One way we can fix this is by using cold water when we wash our clothes. Another way you can save energy is by replacing your old energy wasting incandescent light bulbs with LED light bulbs. Another thing you can do is at night you can turn off your air conditioning. Because at night, it's a lot cooler outside. And what you can do is at night, open a window. Let a bit of that cool air in there. If there's a nice breeze. Or even put a small fan in it to force a bit of air in. And if you have a fan in another room, you can open a window in a different room. And air from the fan that it gets blown in, it will recirculate and blow out the other window. It's pretty cool if you want to cool two rooms at the same time, pun intended.